Hey guys, this is Kevin coming at you from my home lab. Um, just wanted to check in with everybody and go over what I'm working with lab-wise. Um, I have a couple things that I've been working on and working with. Um, first of all, I, um, I'll i show you on my router when I get to it, but I have um, basically T1 WIT cards and no serial. So I found that I, f I figured out that you can kind of turn the WIC cards on and then use, and what they do is they turn into basically a T1, but they give you a serial connection. Um, and what I did is I just made a just T1 loopback. You can do a T, you can do a T1 loopback cable. I had one floating around here somewhere. Um, but whatever. Um, but what I did is I made, and I'll just show you. It's a biscuit, like a dual biscuit, and I it's like a four port biscuit jack, uh, and I just made T1 loops here, so I just punched them in kind of sloppily, but it works. Um, the T1 uses um, one, two, four, and five, um, unlike your Ethernet, typically one, two, three, and six. But I I went in and I just did crossovers so that I have a uh, it crossing over, and then. The router see the connection come up when I plug them in. Uh, I can show you when I mess with it over here. Let me see if I can find a place to sit this. Will this reach? Oh, this will reach. There we go. That'll work. Okay, so so basically you have your here's your T1 or my T1 T1 with card, and I would plug in here, and then I have one on the bottom router, and then if I plug in here. Yeah, get your activity light. There you go. It shook loose. But, um, so then that makes a serial connection when I go into the configuration. So, basically on my lab equipment, I have, um, two of these 3845s. Oh, let me see if I can control this thing. Uh, there's the top one up there. And then I have another one. Hold this thing down. It ain't gonna work. Yeah, so I have another one down there, uh, down the bottom, right here. So I got the two 3845s, um, and then my third router is right here, and this is a 2611. Um, I have three of these, uh, hold on, I'm messing with my webcam to use this. So I have three of these T-WICs, uh, T1 WIC cards with the dual um, T1 connections. So what I'm going to do, I think, oh, for this 2611, I'm going to try and move one in. I hope it's compatible. Then that'll give me, basically, two serial ports for each uh, router. Um, I haven't done it yet. I haven't needed to. The two have been fine. Um, so, yeah, I just started doing, like, the PPP and stuff like that um, in some of my labbing. So I figured that out, and it's been great. Instead of having to use GNS3 or Packet Tracer or whatever. Um... And then my next switch that I have is this 3550. I bought this on eBay. Um, and then I have I had gotten one of these right here. This one down here is um, a 3560. So those ones I were, were work, was working with for a while. And then I just got these two. This is a 2950. I don't really need it. Um, it's it's a layer two switch, um, but and it's got an older iOS, so it's kind of weird. You have to when you go through in the go in the iOS, it's, it's configurations are a little bit different. Um, it, it just looks it looks different and laid out different, kind of. Um, but I got through it. I was I was playing with it. I mean, most of the commands work, so it's it's a functional switch. Um, and then I got this um, layer three. It's a thirty seven fifty. Uh, PoE, so I got that. Uh, so between, I got these basically three, three layer three switches. Um, can do everything I've needed to do so far on them. Um, and then with this up here, when I get the chance, I have a uh, 2100 series wireless controller. So with the PoE switch and the wireless controller, and then I have four of these. Cisco APs. These are filthy. Um, but I got four of these, and they've been just kind of sitting in boxes. I started setting them up in the house, and then I, 
I started running into roadblocks with my, I'm, I'm, the house network is on like a Linksys router. Um, and for some reason, like when I had, the, I had this up, these APs, something between the switch and the AP and maybe the wireless controller, they didn't like each other. So when I was running it, it would work for a little bit and then my whole Linksys uh, router would go down. So I don't know. I don't know if I'm gonna start running everything off of the Cisco router or not. It's, it's not that needed. Um, I'm doing okay. I actually have a Cisco Aeronet AP on my second floor. It's like an older one that you can actually configure um, without a wireless controller. Um, so I have that up there. And then I also have like a TP-Link um, wireless access point that I kind of use for the house. Um, but yeah, that's that's basically all my equipment. And then, oh, I also have this 2500 series um, uh, basically router, but it's a access, basically like an access server. So I use that to connect to all my devices with uh, console. Um, and then basically one of these, I got one of these cables plugged into the back and it gives you eight console connections. So I, and then it actually, that particular one has two. So if I get more stuff, I can plug in the second one. Um, and that's what I'm working with now. Um, when I had bought, or uh, when I had gotten the first 3845 router, when I first started messing with CCNA stuff, um, the router worked. I could get up, it would go in the ROM on, but it would never load. I found out, I figured out that the, um, the flash card, like, slot was bad. Um, so what I had to do to get it to work is I had to buy a board on on eBay. So this is the old board. I still have it. Um, but this is the port, this compact flash port. It went bad. So the iOS sits on that compact flash card and it wouldn't load. So I bought this for 25 bucks and that got me my first router. Um, and then I bought another one, um, the same model. Um, so, and it's a honking, it's a huge router. Um, I didn't need a big one like that, but I already had one, and I figured I might as well stick with what I have. Um, so I bought the second one. I think I paid 25 or 30 for that one. Um, and then I bought that 3550 switch. Now, the other stuff I've gotten for free, um, the, the 3650 switch, the wireless controller, and the, the access points, I got those when I was doing a, a job a long time ago. Um, and I was trying to get the stuff returned to the guy and emailed him many times. And he was like, oh, I'm going to send you a shipping label. And um, I was like, well, send it out because I'll, I'll send the stuff back to you. And he never sent me the shipping label. And then I just forgot because I was doing other things to try and get back with the guy. And two years, probably now three or four years later, um, I still have it. So it's in my lab. Um so that, that was convenient. Um, and then somebody gave me some of the other stuff. Um, so I've been kind of acquiring different things uh, along the way. So um, I think I'm probably going to end up getting possibly one more switch at some point. One more like layer 3 switch, so then I'll 4. And then probably another router. Um, so far, I've been okay. I haven't needed anything more for the CCNA stuff. I think for the CCNP stuff, I think, from what I understand, I probably need four routers. Um, I'm going to start, once I finish the CCNA, I got this, um, the switch book. So I'm going to start the switch stuff first. Um, and if I need another switch, I'll go that, that route. I'll probably get, I'll probably just get like another 3550, since I have the two newer 37, um, 37 and 36 POEs. I don't think I need anything other than like a 3550. And like I said, I think I got it for 30 bucks on eBay. Um, so it's been working. Um, and then I just try to acquire anything that I can get when I, you know, when somebody's like, oh, we're throwing these out or, you know, whatever. I try to save that stuff up. But um, I'm running out of time. Um, if anybody has any questions, just shoot me a message and other than that, have a great day. I'll talk to you later. Bye.